back. That's right. <laughs> B-side DJ Starting clips. off your week right, though. That's how it's it, a that, Monday night. I think that's why we originally decided to do it on a Monday, to be honest. So you hit it right on the head right there. And DJ clips on the turntables. That's what it is. We yeah, we, for, we foresaw that coming. <laughs> hey, but go ahead and introduce yourself, fam. Yo, this is Lazy Dub right here. Yeah, Straight out man. of Phoenix. Phoenix, man. Thank you. Man, thanks for coming through, bro, because it was a trip, because when you hit me up, like, I, I was like, dude, I didn't know you would be in the area. We could have set some Zoom, whatever we could do, and, but when you hit me up, I'm like, hell yeah, you could, like, come on the show. I didn't know you were down to come on the show, like, right now. I was like, let's go. So oh, man, you already know, man. Yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you. So, you've been mad busy, man. Uh, let, let the people know. You, you got... Um, so much in your yeah let the your, people know your impressive your resume, resume. Yeah. when i came up to him i was like look i'm impressed with your extensive resume here this man has been working and you know what i'm gonna just let him talk the hustle don't stop you know i stay grinding and i mean uh first off top of course check out that movie narco valley which gotta give a big shout out to rabbit in the b-side show for helping us even film that movie right there. Yeah. Big shout out, you know what I mean? You better, if you ain't watched it, go watch it because we got a dope ass scene right here in, the, in this spot right here. Hey, and you know what's crazy is like, I was just telling uh, the people that were, you know, our homies here in the studio and, and there were a couple people have saw it, but a couple of people, oh, I'm, now I'm gonna go watch that shit. I gotta go see it. And this is what's a trip. We'll, we'll get into the music and all that, but I wanted to tell you, um uh the director hit me up man uh shout out alex magana um he had hit me up like just for a spot like to film a scene but you guys were kind of improvising because different things like it, and it happens with every movie for those that don't know yeah you, there's always things that don't go according to plan you got to move shit around and make it right and um it was for the spot but then he goes because i had been in a couple of his videos before and stuff like that and he goes, uh, I need you to do a part. And I'm like, all right, well, fuck it. And he literally kind of wrote it on the spot too. But um, what I was going to tell you, bro, is that like, I didn't know where that movie was going to be at. And I just wanted to do it on the strength because I was here anyways. And I wanted to watch you guys film the scene anyways. But then I got random hits, bro, like from, from like homies that I went to school with, different people I've known. And they're like, Hey, bro, I didn't know you did movies. Like, weird shit. Like, and I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, I saw you in a movie. I was watching fucking uh, Amazon Prime, and I saw you in a movie, and I'm like, oh, shit. Like, it's really out there. So I, I thought that was dope, man. That that movie really got around, bro. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. It got, like, millions of views on YouTube. Like, it's it's been, man, millions of minutes streamed on Prime. Nice. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it, 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 it did well. And, you know, yeah, big shout out to Alex. You know what I mean? Like, that was dope, you know what I mean? And if people don't even know, we actually had to, yeah, we had to use this location and actually pretend like it was in Phoenix. But you know what I mean? We're over here in West Covina, of course. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And you know what funniest story is that coming from a person that hasn't seen the movie and will see the movie. Yeah. You know, I was doing my research here before coming here and interviewing you, but I saw a little snippet on the trailer and you know, I thought to myself like, damn, this is crazy. This looks like the B-Side show, <laughs> like studio. And I was like, just about to tell him. And like, he told me the funny story. I was, he was like, yeah, I literally was in that movie. And you know, I was she just saw very, part of the, the trailer. Yeah. She I saw, was just amazed. So, so I'm very, I'm very um, excited to see the movie, which is available on Amazon Prime and on the app Tubi, right? Yep, yep, on Tubi, Amazon Prime, most platforms. You know what, I mean? well, what was crazy is when we're doing it, it's like you guys were even going, like this is all a process. Like I've been behind the scenes before, but it was cool to see the whole production of it. But I remember a couple um, guys like, they weren't feeling a couple like like things got moved around and that's how you improvise a movie but i remember when the the dudes were outside because basically the spot gets raided i'm not giving away the movie you got to go see it but um we had the guys and they had to do multiple takes and they had their weapons in the front 
and the other people next door in the in the cafe were like looking out they're looking out the window what the fuck is SWAT doing over there at the B-side show you know what I'm saying but it was it was a trip because and then people came out and they realized we were filming but at first they were really tripping like what the fuck's going on next door man but you know what talking about your acting career um I was really amazed to see that you were an ink master and keeping up with the Kardashians yeah, yeah, no, uh, the the Ink Master stuff, I was there, you know, as, as a cameo, and then the, uh, the Keeping Up with the Kardashian is for actually music that I that I did for the, you know, I mean, like, for the show. That's yeah. still, like... That's fucking a big placement yeah. right there. Yeah, 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 I got, like, two placements. Yeah, two, yeah. Two, two different episodes. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, damn, millions, uh, millions of viewers on that shit, like, easily, like, every, yeah. whatever they put out, they can film, they can take a picture of themselves taking a shit, and everybody's gonna... Fucking yeah, tip. you know Everybody's what? Tip. Like right now, really quick, just to talk about Kim Kardashian. Obviously, how she started. We all have like our stigma against that, but to be able to start like that and to grow an empire towards like the fucking oh, billionaire yeah, yeah. that she is. Oh, yeah. Like I honestly give her my respects because Even you know the, what? It's just a true hustler. Like what we're the what whole family. all of us trying to. Yeah, the, the whole the whole, family. the whole family. Yes, they've learned how to you know make the moves. Even Caitlyn. K- 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 yeah. K- I can't, I can't. Let's not. Okay, let's K- not get way into it. But I, I respect anyways, the hustle. K- we, K- there you go. We respect the hustle. K- Caitlin's a fly high. No- oh wait, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> all right, all bad. Hey, all bad, bro. Hey, but um, let, let's talk about it, man. The music and everything. Um, besides, like, kind of the the independent films was was another avenue to um to promote what you're doing and that's what people didn't get because we've we've had this conversation before but yes, let, let the people know because it really do, it it works like people invest in yourselves but you made a lot of notoriety not only through the movie but just the different avenues that you take and it all comes back to the music eventually right well it goes hand in hand so yeah. so, so then with the film you know i mean it's easy to place my music in the in the soundtrack, the soundtrack during the yeah. film so you get you know what i mean when you have a uh, a dope scene with some dope music behind it people are gonna trip out especially if they don't know who you are so it's like i get like lots of shazams from like different countries and everything like because you get to see out. you do you see the shazam oh yeah oh, okay, yeah, cool. oh yeah 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 I, I get like like when uh apple gives me the reports like all the shazams are in there and everything and they come from like like crazy different places like even africa you know south africa oh, North, damn. You know what I mean? like, like all over and it's like like that's cool because somebody they would have never knew about my music but they must have came across the movie and then so now they're shazamming it and then you know next thing you know they probably you know i mean stream it on spotify or youtube or something you know what i mean when, when you first came up with that concept though um what was it like planned to be like maybe a maybe long story video version and it went somewhere else or did it did it come what did you plan to do the movie because um man because it, it you know people are doing the short stories and the short films and stuff now but it almost seems like the concept evolved around the mu- like originally around the music and then you just made it bigger i don't, I don't know how'd that come out well see um i, I always wanted to do a film a, a, a feature so when I, I was working with uh, Mr. Capone on yeah. some uh, some music, and then he was like, "Well, we'll do an extended like video." I'm like, "Nah, bro, let's do a movie." Yeah. And he's like, "Nah, I don't know, I don't know. I never did a movie." He said, "You know what I mean?" So it'd be kind of you know what I mean like my first movie. That that's kind of you know what I mean like like something special. And I'm like, "Let's do it, bro." And he's like, "Nah, I don't know, I don't know." So we did the we did do a, a, a like a a mini movie like a seven minute video. You know what I mean? We did that, you know, released it. It's like over a hundred and something K views. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it did really good. And then after uh, Straight Outta Compton had came out, then he, he uh, Cap said hit me up and he's like, hey, w- hey, what's up, bro? You still want to do that movie? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, bro, let's do the movie. He's like, you know what? Fuck it, let's, let's do that movie. So it's like that. That's and he's like I'm... a main character in the movie. So if, for those that don't know, if you haven't seen it yet, Mr. Capone, he's like a, uh, one of the main characters. Uh, what, what's his character's name again? Local. Local. Yeah. yeah there you go. But hey. well, you guys gotta uh, check it out. It was re- it was it was cool. Like I said, because um, it stretched like further than like for for people that I haven't seen in years to hit me up out of nowhere, like even on social media or whatever. Hey, bro. Like hey, like some of my cousins hit me up. Hey, Primo, I didn't know you were a movie star and all this shit. And I'm like, 
what are you talking about? And, I, and then the, they told me, and I'm like, oh, shit, like, where'd you see it? And I wanted to know where everybody caught it from. Yeah. But that's what it was a lot, like, for Amazon Prime, mm, different spots. And yeah, Amazon You made Prime. it available for people. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it was, it's free on, I don't know if it's still free on Prime, but it, it was free on Prime. It's free on Tubi. Uh, it was, like I said, it was over, like, three point something million views on YouTube until the distribution channel. They, they, um, the whole channel for the distribution company, they took it down due to loss of revenue of streams from Tubi. So, you know, okay. Well, if someone's watching it somewhere, right, that's right, all that right, matters. Right, man. right, right, you right. You know that, man. So, from your acting career, let's move it to your artist career, which is dope. Thank and, you, you know, you. you've been, you've been working and you just like dropped a couple albums, uh, uh, sorry, a couple videos that I was watching and, you know, they're hype and like, Summer's right around the corner, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so let's get Is started. Is that what the idea that. was? Uh, with behind the <laughs> kind of the videos? Um, yeah, actually, uh, w one of them was actually a, a little scene that we had shot that it was like unreleased footage from when we shot the movie. Okay. So, so, and, and that was actually shot in the backyard in Arizona where it has a beach and stuff. Okay. And then, but then I, um, I, I released an album last year, but you know everybody had issues due to COVID and stuff like that, so it never get the got the proper release. So I didn't go all out and shoot videos. Like and the stuff. proper promo, you couldn't yeah. go places. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. right. So I, I I did do a lot of traveling, even though through COVID and all that, I was winning all through COVID. I was winning like. It, you can't stop the hustle. Yeah, you know right. I mean? it, people, the hustle don't stop. People found a way. Let's get a. We need another. Yeah, mic yeah. No, it's, it's good. Okay. Um, I'm innovative, so you know, what I mean, I, I I did what I had to do, and uh, but either way, exactly though, the people weren't out there to promote to and and, and really, you know, what I mean, show, you know, what I mean, or let them, you know, catch one of the album other than internet and all that. So, what I decided to do is this year is start going hard with some of the other projects that I was finishing up. And then I'm gonna started shooting videos for all the stuff off of my album that I dropped last March of 2020. So just a week ago, you dropped a video featuring Mr. Nickel. Mr. Nickel, my bro right hey. there. Big shout out to Mr. Nickel. <laughs> <laughs> He's, um, he made a feature ride? tonight too. He came as a as a featured guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, are we gonna get it? We have that video right now, Shay. Let's let, let's play that video and we'll let's come get right into back. it. So go ahead and introduce yeah, it. Yeah, introduce it. Yeah, it's uh, how we ride. Lazy Dove featuring Mr. Nickel, um, directed by Tony Cure. Let's get it, man. We'll be right back. Lazy Dove in the building, B side. Bandanas and drug money, some real fucking gangsters back down to nobody. Homies in the pen, riders in the streets. Fuck my enemies and these pushes one beef. I keep it gangster. You little fakes can't hang. Watch this nine pop at point blank range. Throw you up them things and leave you numb like cocaine. Just be another victim of a west side slang. Go against the grain and it's blast on sight. You don't get no respect, you don't got no stripes. So think twice, motherfucker, before you try to come sideways. I'm letting you know now, AGs don't play. Traps on laps is how gangs is right. Pussy talking shit is how crazy to die. You might think we forgot, but we don't let shit slide. Now we can pick the heaters up and let the bullets fly. Straps on laps is how gangs is right. Pussy talking shit is how crazy to die. You might think we forgot, but we don't let shit slide. Now we can pick the heaters up and let the bullets fly. When I'm hitting them up. I'm lifting them up Off the motherfucking ground Yeah, that's what's up With a big AK Or a little ass tech It's me again, homie Banging PHS And when I'm busting my strap I'm showing haters no mercy I know bitches are out there I know they wanna merc me But I'm hard to get Like a 12 in a crap game And when I'm done You fools gonna know my damn name Mr. Nickel, fool, that's a fact That when I'm mobbing through your hood I'm mobbing with the mini fucking Mac Ready to put all you little pussies on your back Or we can put the heaters down Knuckle up and scrap but I know you little marks don't really want to do that Cause I'll come through and beat your ass, homie, that's a true fact But what I really like to do is come through with two gas And spray your ass up if you're in a red or a blue lap Straps on laps is how gangs is right Pussy talking shit is how cranks is die You might think we forgot, but we don't let shit slide Now we can pick the heaters up and let the bullets fly Straps on laps is how gangs is right Pussy talking shit is how cranks is die you might think we forgot, but we don't let shit slide. Now we can pick the heaters up and let the bullets fly. Hey. 
and we back. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> we're doing hip hop karaoke off the air, just so, so you guys know. Next time we'll film it too. Uh, we got Lazy Dub in the building, man. Uh, yeah, th- yeah. Thanks for coming through. But we're we're just talking, man. You've been mad busy, whether it's flights, driving, like it, it could be music, auditions. Like you're you're in it, man. You're really working right now. But you've had some auditions too recently oh too, yeah right? yeah 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 since COVID, since covid is kind of like going away or whatever like like they're opening back up so you Think, know what i mean yeah. like big auditions been coming through like i just had one that uh like really I, I've, I've had big network you know what i mean like cw type warner brothers type stuff you know what i mean i've had uh i've had uh like hulu originals uh netflix original you know what i mean like like a, a lot of auditions coming in you know what i mean they make you say, sign ndas and stuff like that so you can't really give up too much information but you know what i mean like like e- even though you don't get them sometimes like boom i keep they, they, they keep getting at me getting at me getting at me so it's like like one big one about to hit well it might not be and then it sometimes it's just like even the people there they recognize like oh he he's he, we got this dude but maybe this role's not right for him but then they they have you in mind when the next role like hey remember that dude because that's how it works with those things too man you get get yourself out there same with music but people recognize what you're doing yeah right? one of one of my first like major auditions that i was like I, I didn't even know how to audition because it's like we 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 did the the narco valley movie and then they reached out to me through because of that and it's like i don't even know how to audition all right you know what i mean i had you know what i mean i figured like that was a great learning experience but it was for a big old jennifer garner movie that movie peppermint oh and yeah, yeah, yeah so they had me auditioning for a speaking role not not just some background stuff just a, like a speaking role so it's like like i was like wow oh, like damn. that that really impressed me you know what i mean like like me like never doing anything big like that like that was huge you know what I mean? that and that's huge. that's when you knew the, the i mean not that you didn't already but the possibilities just became even more than uh, like really yeah, like, yeah 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 that that made me take it to the next step yeah. you know what i mean next step you know what i mean to the next level you know what i mean because i'm like oh man i gotta prep for these things because if they're gonna hit me up on like like you get residuals for a long time off of something huge like that that was in you theaters really and everything you know what i mean yeah a lot of these cats man you see some of these like you'll see them on a like a big movie and then you don't see them for a long time but they're still living they're fine they're they're doing they're doing all right don't worry about that but but i was gonna ask um um have you written anything else are you planning on uh doing anything as far as screenplay again oh man we, we've been trying to get as a matter of fact uh, as a matter hey, of fact well let uh, me sh- <laughs> yeah yeah right right as right as, alex where you at alex <laughs> um now nah, we were trying to get up we were trying to get narco valley 2 off, off of the ground like same thing right there in in march of last year i came down here me and alex had a meeting we got a script already ready to go hey can i get out of jail or like <laughs> or like have me like inter- yeah oh you know you, hey, as long as you didn't die <laughs> yeah i did i know because i remember in my scene i didn't could i just like be one of the i'll do one of the like when someone comes to visit me i'll be on the little phone or something you know yeah 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 oh yeah you, <laughs> i'm already <laughs> fucking set myself up for oh you already know we got to come back to the b-side show yeah hell yeah though man no but that's good to hear though so you guys already got that pretty much ready yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, hey, Shay Whitey just said in the background, he said he'll play a crackhead because. Always need those. Bro, we had a fucking, uh, like, <laughs> years ago we were the homies video and uh my brother they had him roll up like like he played a crackhead in the video and it was fucking hilarious oh, yeah, so oh, yeah. he's saying now he's typecast as a crackhead <laughs> he's, t- he's, he's typecast <laughs> Oh, he's not on a mic, but he just said he don't really do crack. He's just a good actor. So, Hell yeah. uh, but 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 yeah, he, but it was it was funny. He did got he got uh, typecast as a crackhead after that. But um, it's good that you guys already got that out, like ready. Yeah, yeah, it's, re- it's ready to go. We just gotta do it. You know, what I mean, we just gotta. You know, what I mean, it's it's still kind of difficult due to COVID and like being if we shot in LA for locations. Yeah, yeah, shit. for locations. You know, what I mean, but thank like, God that everything's opening back up, and you know, and it's just gonna make it easier for you guys hopefully yeah 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 okay. and, and and it's still there screenplays are you know and it and people that don't know like 
when movies come out, like they fucking probably filmed it two or three years before you seen it. You know what I mean? Like they, sometimes yeah. it's like that. It, it took us a while to release Narco Valley, and I mean it, it just you know we we were working deals, and as a matter of fact, we had a huge deal on the table at one point in time. But somebody that was helping me with it, they actually ended up in a lawsuit. So it's like people kind of shied away from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So yeah. from screenplays back to your music videos, I was watching um, West Side Gangster Party yeah. with Mr. Capone that you just dropped. Yeah, yeah, recently yeah. just dropped, and I thought that one was dope. Another summer hit. Yes. Yeah. 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 Heck yeah, we bringing it back. Actually, that was a like I said, that was some old that footage. That was a scene. Yeah, that was some okay. old footage from the scene, but that's also an, a song that I had did a while back. So it's like people kind of like it fell off a little bit so it's like bring it back for the summer you know what i mean yeah hell yeah and, and make sure they get a, a proper dose of it because yeah. um you know like you said things were shutting down a little and and not everybody was tuning into what they should be everybody had to handle their business but now let's get back to it man we got it. yeah get, i can't get, wait get for off live of tiktok show. stuck on there now yeah. get back to youtube <laughs> uh, uh, right Let's get back to some live shows instead of just filming yourself with your selfie. But anyways, uh, anything else that we should know about this dropping? My yeah, brain? I I just dropped one. It's called Change Some with uh Jay Stone from All Money In and uh Marty Obey, one of one of Baby Bash's artists. I, I was okay. just gonna say like, damn doggy, and you've been getting around too. Like you everywhere from Arizona, you're you're over here. You got your network over here. You know texas wherever you, i mean you you really got network going on man yeah 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 i just i just flew flew back into phoenix from reno you i was know. out in reno you know what i mean with the homie ac promoter shout out ac the promoter uh as a matter of fact i got another video on his channel called hate if you want with him and and that that, I that, saw one, that one yeah that, that one's doing pretty good it got a cool little vibe to it like summer vibe like you know what i mean like good good uh, and that's like a single that everyone can relate to because yeah. you know everyone has haters if you're doing good to be yeah. honest if you're doing yeah if you're doing yeah. something yeah. somebody ain't wanting you to win you know what but before we go any further go ahead and like shout out your social media so if there's people out there that are that are not already following you. Right, 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 right. Pretty much everything is at Lazy Dub. You know what I mean? Google Lazy Dub. You know what I mean? You'll, you'll figure it out. You know, Spotify, Lazy Dub. You know what I mean? YouTube, Lazy Dub. Instagram, Lazy Dub. So you're not, yeah, you're not one of the ones that changes. Like, you're on, like, YouTube as, like, the Beastmaster yeah. or... Like uh, no, because another... we really do have artists like no, that. They'd be like they Instagram, way. this one. So like Facebook, this one. And Google you know, him. we rock with them. So we'd be like, okay, but you know, just say it twice so people in the back can hear you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm even lazydub.com. You, you'll find me. You there you mean? go. Like, All you gotta do is Google lazydub. You're gonna find <laughs> yep. them everywhere, man. But uh, thank you for coming through, man, and letting us know what's up and and uh, just just making it. Um, our platform important enough to come through and say what you oh, gotta say, course, man. man. I appreciate, appreciate that. I appreciate you guys as well. You know, what I mean, just, just just the same way as you guys appreciate me. You know, what I mean, it's teamwork make the dream work. You know, That's what I mean, right. there you go. we bring each other up, we make things happen. That's right. Hey, see, yeah. everybody in this room knows that's that's <laughs> for truth. That's church right there, man. Hey, uh, we'll play another video right now. Uh, oh, any shout outs you want to make that you didn't get to? Yeah, much? big shout outs to my bros at home that they, they couldn't make it with me, Tweety and Bro Brown. You know, what I mean. Uh, you know what I mean All the family Everybody who supported me You know what I mean Just big shout out To everybody You know what I mean Oh and before we end I, I wanted to ask One more thing though um, how, how is the scene Over there man I got I know I got family I've traveled through Phoenix a lot I got family in Tucson um, I haven't been able to travel obviously lately but i want to get back over there but how's the scene over there as far as hip-hop man oh man it, we got we got a big scene out there as a matter of fact they're Ooh. they're about to throw some some big shows starting back up like in i think june like the, they're man it's it's, it's getting i popping know the out artists there. stop through there all the time so yeah, yeah, it, yeah. now it's about showcasing the artists that are there though too yeah the the home big shout out to the homies uh from uh a AZ, AZ hip hop trends, you know what I mean? Henny Flats and, and Lou Green. They're about to be doing some shows out there. I think they got OT Genesis coming out. Oh, all right. And they got Cowboy coming out. 
they, they got some big shows already, already you know what I mean? That's dope. In the yeah. works. So it's yeah. going down, man. Phoenix, man, make sure you guys get around, check, uh, do your proper research, check out the homie Lazy Dub as well. And if you haven't already, check out Narco Valley, man. You, you'll see a cameo by your boy right here, man. I, I, yeah, available on, on oh, uh, Amazon, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime, Prime and Tubi, Tubi right? Those, yeah. those, those, those are the main ones, that, you know what I mean? Check you it out. You know what? You can just search it up. You'll find, you'll you'll find, find the link. It. Hey, and like I said, man, the homies... <laughs> The homies did not search it up thinking they were going to like, they just randomly that. And that's the good thing that I thought about it is it's not like they were, it, they just came across the movie and that's a powerful thing, right? Yeah, that's, there. that's dope. Yeah. That's Cause dope. that's like, that means you get the fans that maybe not tune into hip hop all the time or different things, but now everybody's tuning in and that that's dope. And, and for the record, I didn't get shot in that, in the first one. So you never know. I was just about to ask you. You never know what happen. You know happen. what? Before we end, I just want to reiterate that, like, I'm part of the Chris Coca Blog Party, which we're based out of Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, yep. And we do the midday show um, off of 98.3. So, you know, big things are going to be happening off of there. And we're also broadcasted off of Sirius XM through Pitbull's Globalization Channel every Saturday. So you, you'll probably be seeing Lazy Dub there soon. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, big big shout out to the Crisco Kid yeah, Black Party. That he pr he really supports, you know what I mean, the the independent shit, man, like like we should be doing. But um thank you for coming through, my brother for reals. Uh, it's been a dope interview. Uh hey, uh, let me shout out real quick, everybody, DJ Clips for coming through, man, our boy Vince, be nice. Erica, man, thank you for helping out with everything we do. And uh Shay Whitey producing in the back, the homie Drac. And the homies in the shop, our partners in the front of the B-side shop, Covina. The goalkeeper. I, I, <laughs> I, well, she was going to the store just real quick, and I, I give her my, like, can you bring a 12-pack? And she always outdoes it, and she came back with a case. So thank with you. With a case. Shout out Damn. to the goalkeeper. There you go. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll be right back after this video uh, just to do any final, uh, any notes we got to remember. Did I forget anything, Shay? I don't know. Equals oh, no, we're good. Forget stuff. You said we're good. Yeah, I always forget stuff. Oh, oh. see you next week, he says. Oracle Edition. We'll there see you, you next go. week. B-Side Show. Act hey. like you.